Jesus, I need sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> oh! All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do this thing. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, and today is a day where we are going to work remotely for what will end up being 12 hours. So, how do you get ready for a 12-hour day? This is what I do. I get up, I get a half a workout in, which is 30 minutes, cardio, get it done. And then, more coffee than is probably good for you. But hey, we gotta, we gotta, get, we gotta get the engine going. So today we're gonna go, we is my team, which is two of us, are uh, driving uh, a pretty big loop. We're going through what, what will be uh, two counties, three cities, and we'll even cross the bridge to go to San Francisco. So we'll bring you along because I want you to see that sometimes um, owning your own business means that you have to be flexible, meet clients where they're at, and um, then also squeeze in as much fun as possible while still meeting your tasks and getting uh, things done, moving projects forward. So I couldn't do this on my own, which is why I brought Stephanie with me, because together we can uh, stay on the road, talk to you, um, get the tasks done that clients need to uh, to get done so that they can feel accomplished and successful throughout their day. And hopefully the two of us can actually keep uh, each other inspired and focused and motivated. And did I mention that we'll also have fun because that's important. So we're starting off 8 a.m. driving. It'll take us about 30 minutes to get to our first appointment. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, so um, I'm casually sitting here in this beautiful chair that's made of um, wine barrels because that's the kind of stuff you get to do in wine country, sit in wine barrel chairs. I just um, wrapped up my first meeting in the morning of the morning, um, solid two hours later, and it's good. Sometimes you have to sit down with uh, people and reset um, so that there is a a really good understanding and vision moving forward. So um, I'm really happy to do that. We also got to uh, look at a project that we're working on that is coming to fruition. Sometimes projects are uh, very short, short um, endeavors that we get to attack with all of our attention and vigor, sort of four to six weeks. And sometimes we work on projects for uh, a little bit of an extended period of time, sometimes months, even a year or two. And so uh, continually having to be at the pulse of that and looking at what the client needs and tweaking that a bit requires a lot of reset internally for us to refocus ourselves on the vision, refocus on ourselves on the values that the client has um, and shaping that path is a little bit like building uh, a road or laying the track uh, while the train is rolling on it. <laughs> so that's what I got to do today. Uh, I'm super hungry. We're gonna go get a sandwich or something delicious to eat and something delicious and refreshing to drink. And then we'll see you at the next one.
All right, everybody. We are back in the car, driving down the 101, and heading to San Francisco. Honestly, one of my very favorite cities. Uh, I remember when I came as an exchange student, I was 14 years old, and 15, I was 15 years old, and uh, I totally fell in love with San Francisco, and I'm telling you the truth, that I just knew and was hopeful, dreaming, uh, like you do when you fall in love, that someday I would live here. And so it never gets old for me to cross the Golden Gate. It's like the best thing. I love it so much. So we're heading into San Francisco, a totally different vibe, a totally different feeling. Uh, Northern California is just so gorgeous and there's so many ways to engage in your communities and to have business relationships and and just make an impact and I, I just adore it. San Francisco is entirely different. We're gonna go and have a couple of appointments. It's going to be amazing. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I try to get into the city a couple of times a month, a few times at least. Um, and when we get to work with clients and when we get to uh, do prospecting or networking, it's absolutely my favorite thing to do. So that's what we're, that's what we're doing. That's where we're off to. It's three o'clock in the afternoon and I am jazzed, mostly because of coffee. the day is done we just finished uh, we had a quick little bite to eat but we basically just did a 12 hour day and we still have about an hour or so to get home um, which is great because this is where the fun part starts Stephanie promised me Celine Dion so we'll see <laughs> if, she, if she keeps her promise and a really great day Tomorrow is Wednesday, Work Flourish Wednesday. Actually, when you're watching this, you'll be watching this on a Wednesday. So thank you so much for watching the vlog, for coming along. I know there's just little tiny glimpses of a day that you get. And I always wonder why, why does anyone care uh, to watch this stuff? But the truth is, it's really kind of nice to see where other people are in their process, in their work. And sometimes when you get to see behind the scenes, you see that it's totally imperfect and um, stressful and hard and exhausting and it's not an overnight success. And I think that's one of the reasons why I love this vlog the most is that it, uh, it allows other creative entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs to, to take a little take a little peek and uh, see what it is we do. So for that, thank you for watching and we'll continue to do these. And I want to know, like, what do you want to see? What topics or uh, conversations are interesting to you that you are wanting to either watch or participate in? Um, I know that as a, as a business professional, I like to see other people's processes uh, for a few reasons. Uh, not so I can be judgmental, but th so that I can see how they're how they're navigating the um, sort of the details of their day and the things that are not going to make it on Instagram because Instagram is just a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of uh, of reality, and uh, the rest is you know twelve hour days. So I don't remember what I told you before, but we went to a um, industry insider sort of showcase and got to meet a ton of new talent in the design and merchandising, um, in the design and merchandising world. And I'm mostly interested in, in uh, people who understand design, are willing to learn about that and expand on that. And Steph and I had a really interesting conversation because when you are in school and you learn design, 
you get these projects and they're exciting and somewhat challenging, uh, really big and fragmented. Like there's a fragment of that entire big conversation that you are learning to represent in school and then you get out of school and uh, and you kind of have to delve into the real world not that school is not the real world but in the in the real world business the projects that we work on aren't all glamorous they aren't all how do I say this portfolio worthy they are in their own right um, and yet there is this sort of just a, it's just, it's just a company with, or it's just an entrepreneur with, with, a, with work to do. And there, there, there's budget constraints and there's design differences and there's, there's all kinds of things that you have to take into consideration that maybe you don't have to think about in school. And so part of my heart went out to these amazing graduates who were showcasing their work to industry insiders and I just I just want so much for them to know that this this work is good and they did an incredible job and to not lose heart when they go out into the trenches and start working um, as sort of like an intern in a project and, and no one even really may pay attention to them um, so my hope is that the reality of design and branding and business work um, is not the solution to them. Totally shallow note, but I bet you this light is just really good on me. <laughs> You're looking a little jaundiced. <laughs> yep, feeling a little bit jaundiced. Uh, all right, guys. So yeah, that's that's the world. That's the world of design, and that's the world of of graduating from a really really big and awesome program into into the into the details and the minutia of the of the real world of work and business and maybe I'm being cynical possibly I'm tired but the the unfun parts parts where you know like we say internally again you gotta do it again you gotta redo that because <laughs> yeah you did what you were asked to do and yet mm -hmm, again that's part of it it's just part of it so um i hope the best for them what this is. Okay, so this, oh, we just got home from San Francisco. <laughs> so this came in the mail today, and we've been waiting for it for, what, three weeks now? And it is our new, very own, Cake! <laughs> Look at this, I know, come here, come here. Look at this. Here's our little coffee filter, we don't need that. Shh, our breakfast night, we don't need that. What is this? Donuts? Carry coffee, carry coffee, <coughs> cocoa. But more importantly, here she is. Miss America. Stephanie, you're gonna have all the ice lattes in the world. Look at her. There she is. It's a brand new one. We've never had one of these. And I really did actually largely get it because A, convenience in the morning at five o'clock. But also, it's got this really cool button called iced. And that's what you love to drink is iced coffee. So we got an iced coffee maker. 